Hello everybody. I'm going to do you a quick video on connection, on human connection. And uh, this kind of comes as a result of what I've learned and thought about whilst I've been doing these YouTube videos. So, you know, I arrived in America with this goal that I was going to do at least one video every day. And my idea was that I would find somewhere beautiful and that I would talk about something beautiful and that it would be uplifting and stimulating and, and interesting for people. And I would find an opportunity to share some of what I've learned and, uh, and kind of see what would come of it. That's, that's as far as I've got. And so I've been doing that now. I've been doing that for the last three weeks or so. And today, uh, basically, it's now very, very warm. So I'm in a place called the Devil's Garden, which is down the uh, beautifully named Hole in the Rock Road, uh, south east-ish of Escalante. So well, I'm still in Utah. And this morning I went to the most beautiful, massive, massive waterfall, which in itself, you know, the mind boggles given I'm in the middle of the desert. And my aim was to do a video from there, but in actual fact, it was so noisy with the water that, uh, that I didn't. So, so here we are. So I'm in this tiny little rock alcove. And uh, if you like, I will show you around afterwards. But first of all, I want to I wanna give you this conclusion that I've come to and it's about connecting through the internet you know through YouTube through Facebook through LinkedIn through social media and uh, and the conclusion that I've come to I'll give you the punchline straight away is that it is it is massively insufficient in fact it's not hitting the mark at all so it's, it's interesting you can learn a lot you can tap into what other people are thinking on YouTube. Um, but I think what's going on is that part of the human condition has this need for connection. It has this need for warmth with our fellow man, with kindness with love and uh, and I'm kind of reminded of the, the story and you have to forgive me if the story is a little bit off but basically the story in my head at least is that there's a drunk guy and it's the middle of the night and he's staggering his way home and apparently he's lost his keys right and uh, and as you walk past you find him and he's he's underneath the street light and he's scratching around trying to find his keys, okay? And the story is that you say, so, so, so can I help? And, uh, and he says, yeah, yeah, yeah I've, I've lost my keys. I think I lost them somewhere over there, you know? And, and it's, I said, why are you looking here? You know, well, it's because I can see better here. And I think that is kind of applicable to social media. So I think what's going on with social media is that it's relatively easy to look for your keys in social media. It's easy to look for connection with others but you're never going to find it or not at least not to the degree to which well I at least need and I'm kind of guessing that other people kind of need so here I am doing these videos expressing tools and thoughts from my heart and um and it turns out that the connection is, it's, it's like you view the connection through a veil somehow. So I don't know who's watching this for a start, right? So I'm guessing. And even when you watch me, you kind of presumably are going to come up with an opinion about the sort of person that I am. But it's likely way off the mark, right? It's a bit like when we watch a anybody on the TV or, or, you know, the biggest one is you listen to someone on the radio and then you see them in, in real life and you go, my God, that's what you look like because you build up your own images of people. So, yeah, it's like 
connecting through a veil. And you could say the same thing for virtual reality, okay? We're going down this virtual reality road. And um, there's something very attractive about social media and about virtual reality because it's less risky. You're only exposing the parts of you that you choose to do so. You can hide behind a veil of anonymity if you choose to do so. Uh, at the very least, you're, you know, far away from these other people. So you're exposing to the extent that you choose to and no further. But that's not intimacy, right? That's not connection with another person. So we end up getting what we kind of give, which is a half, half story of ourself. And so it doesn't scratch the edge. It doesn't reach where it's supposed to reach. But yet, like the blind, like the drunk guy looking under the streetlight, we keep on looking in the same place. Whereas in practice, we need to look somewhere else. So I don't know if that reverberates. But basically what I'm saying is, and this has probably come from the fact that I've been traveling around America on my own for three weeks, right? Human connection, maybe it requires, you know, like physical proximity, geographical proximity. And the funny thing is, you know, here we are looking at virtual reality and so on, but we've got reality all around us, next to us. So at the end of my thought process is, um, is the conclusion to go and find reality in your neighbourhood and go say hello to real people, you know? I think the reason why it's interesting to be on social media is because you get a safe balance. You know, I've talked to you before about human needs and one of the, the kind of conflicting human needs is the need for connection and the need for significance. And we kind of need both and they're both in conflict. On social media, you can kind of find a balance for that, right? Because you can portray this story about yourself, which gives you a sense of significance every time you get a like or a love or a whatever, you know, it's like, woo hoo hoo. Uh, you can uh, you can also find yourself a part of a quasi community, and so you can feel as if you're slightly connected. Yeah, so it kind of it's a bit like pacifying yourself against your loneliness, right? But we are kind of you know, or certainly I have my my moments when I am just lonely. You know, it's a part of my condition. I'm kind of assuming it's part of everybody's condition you know you come into this world alone you leave this world alone you have moments when you look at yourself and no matter how much you feel connected with the world somehow you also feel detached and you feel alone right that's that's why social media is so attractive because it gives you that i don't know a bit like an addiction kind of thing it promises the lure of some kind of connection which it doesn't really deliver but nonetheless it offers that story Reality is much harder to, to balance that difference between significance and connection. Because in order to have the connection and in order to find that level of intimacy, which we all crave, right? Nobody wants a, a connection through a veil. Well, in order to do that, you have to share your vulnerability, which is vulnerable, right? And when you share your vulnerability, of course, you are, I don't know, maybe the word is not significant, but you are more human. Yeah, you're more relatable. Maybe in a way you are significant, I don't know, maybe, because it's quite rare to find someone who will really, really authentically share about themselves, because it is risky, right? Because people might disagree with something which you find very delicate and vulnerable. So the point is, in reality, well, it's more consequential. And so, you know, we're likely to either build a mask in reality or hide down that self-soothing route of social media. So anyway, this all came to me really this morning as a result of me doing these videos and, and being a bit dissatisfied, you know, that they are not... 
providing the level of connection to me that I hope for, that I aspire to. And I don't quite know how to bridge that one. So if anyone has any thoughts about that, you know, basically what I want is a proper community of people who are sharing with breathtaking honesty. And I know that's naive. I know you don't find that online. Maybe maybe the end result is this has to be done in person with people local that can build up a long-term, deeply meaningful connection. Maybe that is the end, end conclusion. Maybe the conclusion is, unfortunately, everything on social media is just not going to do it. I'd love um, other people's perspectives on that. Because I would like to square this circle and I'm not sure how to do it. Anyway, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts for today. Let me show you a little bit around the Devil's Garden because it's kind of weird. I'll try and do this without falling as I, as I wander around. Okay, so this is a very strange place. So it's kind of... I don't know if anyone has been to uh, Goblin Valley State Park. It's kind of like that. You know, I've got a little archway back there. But we're in the middle of sand. In the middle of a desert. So, um... All right. I will wish you well. I will wish you a sense of connection. I think the end story of this is go and be kind and friendly with your with your neighbour. <laughs> End up back at the Bible sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Be kind to your fellow man. Find connections. Share. That's where the meaning of um, connection is built. All right, take care. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.